hold another J and get ready to witness the main attraction. Nothing left to say. I'ma leave it all right here, but I'm just rapping. Like sorry skies, leave me sorry I like sorry I didn't do what I gotta do to make sure we fortified as a unit. But don't leave me mortified if you'd have kept it a hundred. A brother would be more than fine. Gave you more than time, gave you some peace of mind. That's why I got some qualms about the way you treated mine. You came close to doing damage to my third eye. That's why instead of people, these beats on my murder. I show enough what's worse, my would you rather see casualties of me casually? Snap on beat speakers quick, drastically. The team in matching tees as we pass the reef, ask the streets. If I ain't play it cool, they be mad with me. Cause I'm the one they want to prevail and fail at the same time. That's why I talk about good and bad in the same rhyme with an insane grind. I smoke till I'm super sane. I Plus divine lyrics, I guess I'm a super saint god MC, King Charles, FNYK, the flyest native you know Capo, Capo, Capo What's up, what's up, what's up? How everybody doing today, man? Where everybody at? Low, you got your ears on, homeboy? I hear yeah, you rubbing them hands together. What's going on? <laughs> there you go. Facebook, where y'all at, man? Like everybody over here on Facebook sleep today, man. You doing all right, homeboy? I'm trying. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't see you. I just see the background. Oh, you don't see me? Nah, I just see the background. Hmm. I see you fine, homeboy. We got a couple of folks on though, man. Y'all say what's up, man. Let me know y'all. Oh, y'all woke out there, man. What's going on? The boys coming at you, man. What's going on with y'all? Why they sleep, low? Yeah, it's on your end, homeboy. Cause I just went on Facebook Live, man. I mean, uh, YouTube, everything's showing. I think it's just something to do with your phone. Uh, I guess cause you coming in on your phone. Rod Stubbs, what's up? Yo, yo. I hear you, bro. <laughs> I see you, man. I see you. Hello, Greensboro, North Carolina. What's going on, man? DBL over here on YouTube. What's up, PJ? What's up, man? John Bain. What's going on, man? Uh, that's right. It's them boys again, man. We're trying to come back at you guys, man, and um, give our weekly fish report, man. Uh, just waiting for a couple of guys to chime in, man, and we're going to get this thing started, man. Who we got to have? Jake Harvey. What's up, man? Fishing this weekend? Oh, man. It's gonna be a toss up, bro. <laughs> it's um don't look too good over here in uh making Georgia right now. Say what's good, when we going? What's up, Brooklyn? What's up, New York? I see you home boy. Hey man, um actually I'm a I'ma lead I'ma lead that later on. I I let you know what's going on. So y'all guys hanging up, man, and uh We'll let you know what's the haps on that thing, man. What's up, Terry? Terry? 
It's my two favorite skine. That's right. <laughs> you been doing all right, bro? Where's everybody at, man? Everybody laid up today? I want to come on here today and teach today, man. Y'all got me feeling reluctant, man. Oh. Uh, New York called me up. Well, he didn't call me up. He hit me up on Messenger, y'all. Uh, if you guys can see him down here on Facebook, uh, in the chat, that's uh, that's Brooklyn country boy Sutton right there. That's who I'm talking about, man. He hit me up. Let me let me say, what's up, Mr. Webb? He said, what's up, fellas? What's up, Derek? Uh, yeah, he hit me up today, man. And uh, well, yesterday, say, man, I need to put something. What was it today? I think he hit me up today. I was at uh. I was indisposed though today, but I got his message, man. He wanna uh, rap a little bit about uh, reading them fish finders, man. Stephen Rosie, what's up? I'm gonna let a couple more folks come in. We gonna start this show up, man. Hope you guys are feeling good today, man. Had some rough weather yesterday. What we got over here on uh, YouTube. It look quiet over there too, man. Everybody's so quiet today, man. Well, I tell you what, regardless, man, we're going to give y'all a good, a good live broadcast today, man, because I, I, I'm in that mood of dropping some dimes today, man. Give me a thumbs up, man, if y'all ready to listen to a couple of dimes, man. As usual, man, we are uh, we adhering to this uh, social distancing, counting the COVID nineteen pandemic. So uh, I'm here. I'm here with you in the booth. That main man, the sky in charge, the assassin. He come to you remotely. What's up, Ty? What's up, Sammy? Oh, Sam say, what's cracking, boys? <laughs> I don't care if you're writing it. I can still hear your voice, Sammy. Good seeing you, bro. But uh, we just letting a few feet people come in, man, before we uh, start this thing off. What's up, Mike? Good to see you, bro. I say, hey, man, no, nothing further to do. Let's get this thing started. Uh, uh, Assassin, what you say, homeboy? Right. <laughs> My buddy low, slow motion. Here we go then. What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? It's your boy again, Yavo, aka Django Three Thousand with DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors. Just like the sign say behind me. I'm here again with my Ace Boom. You know who he is? Tell him what's up, homie boy. What's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? Got the boy Lope, bro. Y'all up to the night, man. Willie, go and say, what's good, them boys? I mean, it's a lot of things good, man. It's good to be alive, bro. I'm from a phone today, man. I went home. Yeah, you got a little latency on your phone, man, but they're gonna, it's going to be all right, homeboy. Oh. Um, yeah, man, we coming here today to give y'all this uh, weekly fish report, man, whether y'all like it or not, man. Oh. Uh, Man, my boy said we gonna do it. We gonna do it, man. It's just good to see you guys, man. You know, from week to week, man. Just like a little small family, man. I see the same faces a lot, man. We here as a group, learning, and growing with each other, man. And man, it's, it means a lot to me, man. You know, I know it means a lot to everybody because you know we get to share thoughts and run different different things by each other, man. That's that's the whole purpose of this community, man. You know. Growing up in this fishing game, man. Uh, let me say uh, what's up to the YouTube side over here. What's up, Ira? What's going on with you, man? Uh, you guys going to have to hang in with me today. I'm be flip-flopping back and forth between the chats, man. But hopefully I can get you guys uh, dialed in. And uh, I'll respond to as many of you guys as I possibly can, man. But uh, today, man, I want to talk to you guys about a, a special subject, man. Uh, Normally I get with I get down with Lope, man, and we'll get together and we'll say, hey man, what you want to bring to the folk? But today, man, I'm gonna go out there on the limb, man. Um, I had a guy call me 
Well, he didn't call me up. He hit me up on Messenger, man, and um, sent me a couple of photos. That guy I'm talking about is a, a Brooklyn country boy. We call him New York. We, met, we, 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 we don't call him New York. What we call him, Lope? Brooklyn. <laughs> That's right. We call him New York. Brooklyn in the house. Yeah, he hit me up, man. He said, um, hey, man, check this out, man. Uh, was I on him? It was a little slow, man. He sent me a picture, man. I could... I could have pulled it up, man, but it was, it, it was, it was, I didn't feel like doing all the technical stuff, man, to, to show you guys, but, uh, he showed me the display on his fish finder, and, um, actually, you know, I, as I looked at it, it looked pretty promising, man, he looked like he was on top of a, a gang of fish, man, but, uh, he was asking me, he said, the, uh, the action was kind of slow, and, um, uh, honestly and truthfully, homeboy, uh, I don't think that had anything to do with, uh, your electronics I think you were actually on top of those fish like you needed to be the fish were probably just slow man because of this adverse weather what you think about that Lope hey man I can't I really can't my phone is lagging or whatever man so they ain't gonna be able to hit me too good it don't look like okay then well, yeah, I I, I hit it. I see the lag in it because when I ask you a question, it takes you a while to answer. So, I tell you what, man. Uh, you just ride ride along with me, man, and uh, say what's up in them comments, man. Uh, they definitely love hearing from you, man. You 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 the, you the, uh, superhero of the group, man. So make sure you troll them troll them checks if you can, man. You know what I'm saying? I know you're on your phone, but I'm gonna try my best to run this show. Um. But yeah, I talked to all. Uh, I talked to Brooklyn. I can do it just go on you. That's the only way I can chat with him because I have to get off of this. Well, that'd be fine, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I know you was out there doing your thing, man. And uh, uh, everybody know uh, you're a busy man and stuff, man. But you're trying to come in there remotely, man, and uh, rap with these guys, man. Just, you know, if that's what you're going to do, just go and let them know you're going to meet them over there on the chat or what have you. And I'll just keep pushing on this end right here. Kevin Moore, what's up, yeah, man? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hop off of this, folks, and get on YouTube because I hear a lot of. Me I, I can't. My phone messing up, I guess, man. So I'm gonna go uh, holler at the people on YouTube. All right, then, homeboy. I see you in a minute. Well, I see you in the, in the chat, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get on there and see what's going on. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's up, Kedrick? He said, what's good with y'all, man? Uh, man, we're just trying to put this thing together again, man. And uh, if you guys hear a little background noise, man, look, some little some uh, feet pandering around, like some uh, unusual noises. I'm, I'm not in the shop, man. I'm out here. I'm actually inside the house, and you know how it is, man. We got uh, family people walking around. What's up, little baby? Hey, that's uh, Ella Mae walking through here now. But, uh. So y'all just disregard that, man. We're going to keep pushing and stuff, man. But uh, back to what I was talking about. Brooklyn hit me up. He said, hey, man, what did you think about this? You know, I, I looked at his display, man. I, I thought, you know, from what I saw, he was on a, a gang of fish, man. But he said they were biting real slow. So, you know, first, you know, the first thing I'm, I'm thinking, you know, we had some really, 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 really bad weather yesterday. So much so that most of the... Uh, Surrounding counties in my location, man, had a flood warning. We actually got an amber alert last night, warning people about getting on the roads because the because of washouts due to flooding or what have you. So, if if you were fishing today, after what happened yesterday, I can imagine that the fish were biting kind of slow, man, because of that influx of uh, hot water or whatever. Kendrick Moore say, uh. You know I'm ready to get with y'all on a Saturday night. Hey man, that's what we doing here today, man. Trying to set that thing up, man. Trying to decide whether or not we gonna do something, man. Uh, I'm 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 hanging, man. I'm debating, man. So uh, you guys hanging out to the end, man, and uh, we'll figure this thing out before too long. But uh, say mother water again, man. Not really, Sammy. What's going on is uh we had seven inches of rain within uh a couple of hours. Of time, 
it doesn't make any sense. So uh, we had so much runoff water, man. It moved so fast that um, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm not really sure what the condition of the lake is because um, we got some some stain, some muddy water condition from what I saw today at work. Uh, I went over like two, about four different uh, passes over creek, and the water was uh, it wasn't muddy, it was stained. I mean, you could still see about what five to about five feet below the surface, man. But it definitely was stained. But like I say, I don't know what the condition is uh, at Lake Oconee right now. I checked the uh, water level from what I saw on the um, the info sheet. It's only uh, 0 0.016 change in the depth. So I think. Uh, Capped out is at like 435. I think it was like 435.016 of a foot. So, I mean, um, everything looks good, but you know, you really can't tell about that because that water is controlled by the dam. So, uh, it could very well be very trashy, very, very muddy. I just, I, if anybody's gone fishing today, it'd be great if you guys can chime in and tell us what the condition of the water is at. Uh, any location on uh, either uh, Lake Oconee, Lake Lake Sinclair. But back to what we were saying, uh, I talked to uh, Brooklyn. He said, "Hey man, it'd be great, man, if you drop a video on how to read these fish finders, man." And uh, I thought I was doing good, man, because you know normally when we drop videos, you know I try to put uh, uh, fish finder footage on there so you guys can see. What I'm seeing, you know, as we catch fish, especially like if I, um, if I drop a video on a, a phenomenal night, we catching slabs galore, I definitely want you guys to see what I'm looking at on my scope, man, because if you guys are seeing the same thing and you're not catching fish, that's that's a telltale sign. You need to change that pres uh, presentation up, man. See, sometimes flood is good and sometimes it screwed them up. Yeah, not only that, Sammy, uh, the water that is a is a it's an influx of water, but it came and it's gone. So it's not like it was earlier this year, man, when the water like my boy was calling it uh chocolate milk, you know, because we had like weeks and weeks and weeks of just rainy weather. Man, good gracious we got a lot of folks over here on YouTube, man. Lo, hey man, I hope you holding this down, man, cause <laughs> I can't read all that stuff, man. But uh if you guys are just coming in, man, on YouTube, man, what's up? This is your boy, Yarvo, Django. Uh, Lope was with us remotely, but he decided to go over there and hang with you guys on the chat, man. So y'all uh, y'all feel free to ask ask away, man. And uh, I'll try to uh, come in and um, uh, keep up with you guys. What's up, Chris? Oh, Chris Ashland, he said, what's up, fam? But I'm gonna try to keep up with you guys on uh, both sides. But primarily, I'm gonna stay over here on Facebook side, man, with my with my family. But uh, he was concerned. He said, "Hey, man, why don't you drop some videos on how to read these fish finders, man?" So I said, "Tonight, what I'm gonna do, man? I'm a. Uh, I got a couple of hardcore fishermen out here on the on the chat today, and I got a uh, couple of newbies out here. And you know, you guys, you know." Drop your input, man. I'm, I'm gonna say what I, I'm gonna say about you know my different scenario, man. If you guys think differently, man, feel free to chime in, man. Drop your nuggets, man. Uh, said, man, some guys got three thousand units and don't have a clue on how to set it up. And yeah, exactly, man. I know what you mean, there, uh, Sammy, man. You know, cause you know when you're looking at that picture on that box, man. It kind of like pimp my ride at first, man. You just want something to make your boat look good. What's up now, Big Mitch? Big Mitch in the house. You just looking at that monitor sometime, man. You like, pimp my ride. You just want to put that, that big screen on your boat, man, and make it look fly, man. But it's actually a tool, man. You know, and it should be your first go-to when you actually go fishing. Willie. Willie go. What's up? He said, what's up, Sam? But, um, hey, man, I definitely want to rock with you guys, man, tell you how. What's what's my interpretation of different scenario different screens and uh like i said man if you guys want to if you guys want to chime in definitely do so man uh i'm gonna start out man and all these pictures i'm actually gonna show you guys man uh actually displays 
from my personal um, fish finder, uh, whether it, I'm running, as a matter of fact, I'm running a, a Garmin 93SV up front. Uh, it's a unit specifically designed to work with the uh, live scope transducer. Uh, standalone, it's a standalone fish finder. It's uh, built with clear view, uh, side, side view, and your basic uh, uh, traditional 2D sonar. As well as, uh, you know, it's got different connections for, if you guys have ever seen 3D mapping, you know, if you got the cor correct transducer to make to allow that to work, it um, is compatible with, compatible with that as well. Say preach the gospel, DB man, you need to stop. But uh, up front, where I normally fish, that's what I'm running. Uh, that's the monitor I'm looking at when I'm scout. Not really scouting. I don't use that one to scout. I use that one to pinpoint a hone in on the fish that I'm actually targeting. And uh. I don't have a unit in the back yet, but it's coming pretty soon, man. I'm have one in the back for guests. Not, not, not that it's necessary, because a lot of times when I put on fish on front, they definitely back there. You guys see how that guy be out fishing me sometimes, man. It's almost like I put him on fish, man. But I'll be honest though, man. I'm looking at the fish right there in front of me, so that letting you know if you're on an 18 foot boat, because that's the, that's the length of my boat. If you're on an 18 foot boat and you put yourself on fish. If that man in the back start crying, talking about he ain't on fish, man, he telling you a doggone lie, man, because uh, I done did, y'all done seen my video, man. It, every time we go fishing, man, nine times out of ten, you know, my boy back there, he limiting out before me, man. He putting in that work, you know what I'm saying? So that's a that's a fairy tale. It ain't if you on fish, man, and you got the front of the boat set up just like the back of the boat, man, you both should be catching fish, regardless if you got a display back there or not. He on fish, man. But uh, at the uh, captain's control, man, I got I'm running uh, Hummingbird Helix Five. Basically, you asked me why I'm running Hummingbird Helix Five. I don't have an explanation for that. When I bought the boat, that's the unit they gave me. Uh, they did not splurge for me. They gave me basically, well, they gave me a basic unit to use. And now, and, and normally, if you guys watch me, I rarely use it to fish with. I, I primarily just use it to uh, navigate the lake, man. And a lot of times, you know, whenever I um, I find new spots, I try to, if I don't forget, I try to mark the location on that particular fish finder every time because that's the one I'm actually driving by. Presentation is key. That's right, Mitch. And uh, beside that unit, I'm running a... Uh, uh, a Garmin 9 SV 9 meaning 9 inch screen SV meaning side view it's not the echo map the striker echo map like the one on the front the one on the front is actually a better unit uh, but like I say that unit is used primarily because I have to run my live scope off of it and the live scope is up there with me but the one in the in the one at the captain console the 9 SV is my go-to unit and uh, I'm gonna tell you why that unit has side imaging I mean uh, side view or uh, side imaging on it right while I'm while I'm driving the lake right I may be pulling up on a, a, a specific location uh, as you guys know whenever we drop content man I tell you pr prior to going out there on that lake I'm a scout I'm a, I'm gonna I'm a read the map and I'm gonna I'm a actually find a prime location for us to fish. I don't always fish the same location. Matter of fact, I think I rarely fish the same location unless it just some some circumstances may 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 happen, and you know, and I'll just say, okay, we'll go over here because that's where we caught fish at last time. But for the most part, I have a strategy prior to going out there, man. And then what I do is to test what I've actually uh, researched. I come in hot using my smaller unit and when I get close to to my waypoint I'll slow that thing down and I turn that side imaging on and what I do then is I just I take that time to to pull in real easy just in case that place is loaded with fish 
and I'll scan it first with that side view to see if what's under the water is what I was looking for when I um researched the map, if that make any sense, man. But um that's what I use for as hardware, you know. I don't use anything other than that now. Um uh, as far as the map goes, the information that I find a lot of times I find it using I'm not gonna say the name, I'm just gonna say Onyx, so you guys know what I'm talking about. I'll go on Onyx at uh, onyx.com, go to the chart viewer, I'll, I'll scan that map, and I'll find prime uh, prime locations. And what I'll do is, I'll um, open my phone up, and I take I actually got the purchase map, purchase app I should say, on my phone. So at the same time, I'm finding it on the the uh, the computer. Now, and I'm, I'm only using that because the screen is bigger, and I don't have to sit there and just focus on a small screen of my phone but I'll mark it on my phone and what I'll do is uh, I got a phone hold on my boat you know what I'm saying I put that phone up on that in that uh, phone holder and then uh, using the onyx map on the phone I'll I'll, I'll just traverse the, uh, the lake to that waypoint using that as my guide but I'm actually using that helix to drive with because you know the map on that I got I got my tracks in there so I know where where my safe tracks at because I don't know if you guys have, have noticed man but uh at Lake Oconee I'm glad I'm glad I thought about this if you guys put in a sugar creek and you head toward the island right and you're going out toward the uh main body of water uh it's some trees submerged trees over here to your left and it's uh it's marked by a bunch of buoys or whatnot that first buoy, which means uh, if you if you going toward the um, the island from the dock, that that's going south. That northernmost buoy is missing, man. So if you guys come through there, man, I'm I'm just telling you right now, man, take it easy, cause that you know if you if you've been fishing out there a lot, man, it probably won't uh, throw you off, man. But if you never fished there before, you'll mess around and come in there too fast. And you'll be riding on top of them trees, man, because that buoy isn't there. So if you guys know somebody who knows somebody can do something about that, man, y'all go out there and y'all talk to them, man, because that's a, a safety hazard, man. But you guys heard it from me first, man, so take it easy. But we'll go out there. We'll put on a... Uh, what's up, Cousin Mike? Uh, we'll go put it on an on a area, man. And you know what? I got a couple of them boys on here, man. They can vouch for me, man. We'll go fishing, man, and uh, if if the, the first thing they say, where we going? I say, well, I'm trying somewhere new. You guys go over here to a tried and true, and uh, they may go to a tried and true. If they doing good, we'll pull up. If they ain't doing good, they'll come to where I am, cause you know one of them gonna produce, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially if the uh, if all the uh, elements are lined up right, you are gonna catch some fish, man. But that's how we normally do it, man. You can't just keep fishing the same location thinking fish gonna hold up that it that's just like you saying I stay in Macon, Georgia, but I don't never leave Harley Bridge Road. You know what I mean? Man, pretty soon you're gonna leave, you're gonna need something. You know what I mean? That ain't on Harley Bridge Road. You know you get what I mean? Well Sam say, What's up, man? So uh to make a long story short, we I I I, uh, I scout the lake, study it, we go to the spot, and I scan it with my side view first. I come in now, man. If that map or if that sonar display doesn't look the way I suspect it should look, the guys will tell you, man. We going to we going to the next location, man. Because the thing about it is, just because you mark the location don't mean you fish there, man. You fishing there for a specific reason. Now, if you get off task, man. You got to realize every time you waste time doing something that you hadn't planned doing, man, that's time you're losing from catching your fish, man. You ain't got so much time on that lake, man. And think about it, man. You get out there on them fish, man. You start catching like them billing boys, man. <laughs> you better get out there for that game war and come, man. You know what I'm saying? So your time is of the essence, man. You got to make sure. Ain't that right, Mike? <laughs> Mike is kind, too. He had to run from the popo. But, uh... You go out there, you, you scan the lake. If the lake doesn't look the way 
it's supposed to look the way you studied it, man. Uh, it's time to move on, man. You know, you can't just keep staying in one spot, man. You know what I'm saying? So I go in there. If I'm if I'm fishing submerged trees, right? Just to make it plain, I pull in on the location. Ain't no submerged tree. It's time to go. Pull on the next location. I'm looking for the same setup. It ain't there. Guess what? I'm going to a tried and true. You know what I'm saying? Or let's say I pull into a location. It's submerged trees there. That's what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for submerged trees and this depth of water. Everything lined up where I studied it. I go there. No bait fish. No fish. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to fish it for a little while, man. And if 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 the results aren't promising, man, ask the old billing boy. Ask Chris Ashley. You know what? Ask Chris Ashley. He the better witness, man, because he done fish with me more. We moving, man. We we pulling up and we gonna move, man, because guess what? Local tell you, man, you stay in a spot too long that got a bunch of dinks on, but there go your limit. Sammy said, that what the unit for eliminate dead water. That's right, man. That's right. You buy that equipment, man, so it take the guessing out of it. You know what I'm saying? You actually can use your brain power not only to find the fish, but to catch them, man. But, you know, that being said, I want to just uh, talk about, you know, these these displays, man. You know, just like my boy Brooklyn said, man. Rap to us about the display, man. Show me how to read this thing. All right, what you seeing right here, behind me, right here, uh, is the 93 SV running live scope. I normally run it amber. No reason why, you know what I'm saying? It's I just I like that color amber. Maybe because maybe I, I saw it like that first, so I've been um pretty much uh just drawn to the color and it's it, it just become one of the things I go to. No particular reason. You can actually change the color. I mean you just play with the sitting, just like Sammy said. But if you look at the screen right here. I don't know if I can. Sh I can't show you. I don't have a point on that. But right above my head, I'm gonna duck my head down. Do you see? Do you guys see that? That portion right about in here, where my hand is, that that really really light yellow part. That's the ground. That should be self-explanatory. It says 26 feet, and down here, right, you know, down in this area right here, where that where my hand is, it, over to the far uh, left on the screen, it'll show you the depth. So. It's telling you the depth is 26 foot and um, uh, point, it's 26.3 feet. All right, that's the ground. Right above it, right, let, let me see, right here. That's a brush pile. Navion, I mean, on, uh, on live scope, this stuff is easy to see, man. It's easy to see. I, I, I know for a fact, you know, this right here is not a fish. I can look at it and tell it's a bush. You get me? Right above it, right here. Let me see, right there. You guys can see that. That's my doggone uh, jig, man. That's my minnow. You know, anytime, I think I've said it before, nature does not make geometric shape. If you see a vertical line, see one, two, three. That's a straight line, vertical line. That's, that's my weight in a minnow, and it's probably like several lines side by side. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what you're seeing there. That's where I'm actually fishing it. So when a person asks me, say, how deep are you fishing? Sometimes I'll tell them, you know, I'm fishing a pole length. You know what I mean? Where if the water is 26 feet and I'm using a 14-foot pole, you just got to do the math. You know what I mean? Other times they'll tell me, uh, say, how deep are you fishing? I say, well, the fish are holding down there about 20 feet. I'm about three feet above that. Or I might be five feet above that. I'm fishing above those crap because that's where they bite. They're going to bite up. You know what I mean? So that's how I'm fishing. So I don't have to sh tell you guys or show you guys where these fish are. If you look to the left side of the screen, you'll see a gigantic school of crappie right there. Okay. I want you guys to take notice. You see the crappie over there to the left, right? Now, common sense tell you. The crappy ain't just balled up right there beside that bush, and then the bush is on the far right of them. They looking at the bush. That bush is actually going all around those crappy, man. But the way that fish finder 
is um, is projecting the image is only showing that portion of the brush pile. I'm actually on top. If you if you look at the, the picture, zero is where the transducer is. So that's the head of my boat right there. So when I'm fishing, if I'm fishing right there at the transducer of that boat, I'll be right there on top of those uh uh crappy. But what I do is I'm fishing with a 10, 10 foot pole, 12 foot pole, right? So if you look at the graph, if you look all the way at the top up there, you see zero, then you see the numbers going all the way out there. Uh, what is that? 10. You see what my, uh, remember I told you right here, let me see, right here, that's where my, uh, my bait is. So that's telling you right in and out, I'm using about a 10 foot pole. You get what I mean? It's probably in that location just short of 10 foot because, you know, you got line hanging down. So if the boat moving, it's gonna, it's, it's, it's not going to be straight vertical down. You get what I mean? But that's telling you pretty much in a, in a rough location where I am, about 10 feet out from the, from the head of that boat. But that's what the fish look like, man. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, I know you, a lot of you guys are probably saying, oh, well, that's easy to see. That's easy to see. But at night, that's not what I'm actually looking for. First and foremost, I'm looking to see if I can find any bait fish. So if you guys look at this picture, you don't see any bait fish, do you? And I got bait in front of those fish, but you don't see no fish coming up sniffing it, man. A lot of times, the telltale sign of lethargic fish is you're going to find them on the bottom. Just like you see those fish right there. Those a lot of times are fish I try to avoid, man. Those, those that, that ain't the pattern of an active fish school of fish to me you know what i'm saying i'll fish it for the simple fact that if i fish it long enough it being a brush pile it creates that that uh that ambush point meaning as that as my um i pilot i got it on spot lock as it moves around eventually it's gonna go come across the path of one of those fish right there and they're gonna bite it but that's not the, the type school I'm looking for when I'm actually trying to engage fish. So uh, I just want to bring that bring that bring that out for you. Say so coming with it just like in chip. Say so what's what is the pattern? Okay, we're gonna get to that, Mike. We're gonna get to that. All right, I'm gonna show you guys another another photo. Okay. This this photo is how can I how can I explain it? If you guys if you guys just watch a couple of my pictures of my uh, fish finder, you'll find out that the if you see me anywhere from 20, 20 to twenty five foot of water, and you see a lot of structure under there like this right here, you can almost bet that's a summertime fishing excursion right there. Because that's what I'm looking for when I go fishing in the summer. Look, you know, a lot of folks say, where y'all going, man? Where y'all going? Uh, y'all going out of Oak County? You know, yeah, we going out of Oak County. They'll say, well, where you fishing it? And it's like, I ain't fishing in a particular location, man. No, I'm fishing structure. But, you know, some people like to fish trees. Some people like to fish, you know, rocks, what have you, man. But... This is what I like to see in the summertime, man, because it's going to hold a lot of crappy. And, and the thing about it is, you're looking at that structure there, you don't see any fish around it. You see, let me see if I go up there, uh, it's actually above my head, but right there, let me see, right there. If you go straight up, you'll see two clumps just floating around in the black part of that water. That's fish, man. And a lot of time, man, people mistake that with being bait fish, man. And uh, <laughs> I told Chris that one day, man. Chris said, man, I see a lot of bait fish, but I don't see no fish. I said, dude, we need to look at that again. A lot of time, man, what you're thinking is bait fish ain't bait fish, man. It's just, you know, you're not, you're trying to read your fish finder like it's a TV screen, man. You got to read it for what it actually is, man. All right, um. If you look at that box right there, all right, straight above me, right? Let me see, right above. You see that that school right above is in the middle of that box, right? That's a five foot span. See, it's 10, 15, let me see, 10, 15. 
That one box is a five foot span. Those fish are in that that five foot box. Man, ain't no minnows that big, man. You, you, you see what I'm saying, man? You know, it ain't no accurate way to measure them, man. But that's how I kind of gauge what size fish I'm dealing with, man. And that helped me to discern uh, whether or not I'm, I'm looking at crappy or if I'm looking at bait fish, man. And uh, I tell you, man, when you actually see <laughs> bait fish on a live scope, man, you'll never forget what they actually look like, man, because... When you start looking at bait fish uh, on live scope, man, they look like that ground down there. If you guys can see uh, the ground right here, you see how that hard yellow yellow is to show you that uh, that's a hard bottom right there. That's what your bait fish look like on this live scope, man. It's one big old glob of ground where it shouldn't be. It it's it's up there around the five eight foot uh, depth, and it looks like you got a ground on top of the ground. That's what bait fish look like, man. Bait fish do not look like like these little nuggets right here. If you, you see them right above where my finger is, if you go up above the ground, you see that? That's what the crappy look like, man. That's what you're trying to engage, man, in the summertime. Not on top of the brush pile. I, you know, you can fish on top of the brush pile. Excuse me. But I don't fish on top of the brush pile for the simple fact that, uh, one, I can see the fish outside the uh, the brush pile. And two, you can do them and get hung, man, trying to catch these fish if you ain't got a live scope and you can see exactly where you're dropping it. Jimmy Johnson said, what do you run your T TVG and noise rejected on? Let me tell y'all something, man. I like Garmin for a reason, man. Garmin, you buy this unit, man. Straight out the box, you're getting what you need. You ain't got to set nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. Just stick it in the water, man. Well, uh, he said, what? If you guys look at look at that display right there, that's that's straight out the box, man. No setting. Now, I know how to set my Garmin Live Scope. I know all my settings. I know what I like to look at. A lot of people like to run it with a lot of gain. You try to get as much detail as you, know, as you possibly can. But all it does is clutter your screen. My screen looking like that, I can see each individual fish, man. You know what I mean? Pastor Django, you blessing these fish man tonight. <laughs> man, stop. But uh that's how I normally keep my um my fish finder dialed in. I have it on the most basic settings, man. What I do to hone in on fish is I reduce my outside. Alright, if you see it goes from zero zero all the way to twenty. If I want to see a better picture of my fish, I squeeze that picture up. I might make it 10 feet. That way, when I make it 10 feet, it actually enlarges the size of the fish. It's almost like I'm zooming in. You know, when I'm dialed, when I got the fish dialed in, shoot, I might have the doggone thing dialed out to 30, 40 feet, you know, in front of me. That way, when the uh, trolling motor is moving me around. It's actually, I, if I if I get off the fish, I can find them real easy. All I got to do is turn that little, I turn that little uh, hand on that thing. There they go. Now move right back on them. He said, Jimmy Johnson, tell me what's up. He said, fine tune. That's right, Sam. You got to fine tune that thing, man. But summertime, if you see the structure like that right man, I'm fishing in the summer, man, because I'm fishing that summer pattern, bro. Let me go back. Let me find something else for you guys, man, to show you guys what's, what's going on. All right. Remember I was telling you guys about game and people trying to uh, fine tune it so much where they try to see every little detail. This is what happens, man, when you have your gain up too high, man. You're trying to figure out what's going on. That's the picture you have to look at, man. Do that make any sense to anybody, man? Well, it makes sense to me because I can actually see the fish swimming on the screen. But look at all that clutter, man. Straight out the box, man. Is how you want to run your garments, man. Now, hummingbirds and different things like that, you know, people like to play with the settings and stuff, man. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. I try not to say nothing about this, man. I don't want to embarrass nobody. But the only setting I see a lot of people actually manipulating on their fish finder, I'm, I'm going to let the drum roll come on for a second. Here it is. The only setting that I see people manipulate on their fish finder is they turn on the fish ID and that's it. 
because they can't read the screen. They'll have a fish ID coming up, and then they'll change the fish ID to a fish ID with a depth number beside it, show you exactly what depth they are. Dude, that's gonna pick up bait fish. It's gonna pick up anything that's in that, in that, that's floating in that water, man. It's not gonna give you an accurate reading or accurate display or, or something that you need to read to try to get data, man. Turn that junk off, man. Turn it off. You don't need it, man. I'm gonna show you what you need to look at when you look at your screen, man. I know that's kind of jacked up because I got all them little swirly lines in it because I took the picture while the screen was kind of all uh, moist, man. But do you see all these? It's like little horizontal lines on the screen now. That's that doggone transducer reading. A school of fish hovering right under your boat. Now, you see the fish under your boat, right? You see the long line. That means the longer that line is, man. The more they, the, the more they moving. If they, if they short lines, stubby lines like that, them jokers sitting still, bro. Thirty nine, you see thirty nine point six feet, man. And you see that kind of uh, activity on your boat, man. You don't caught these fish hovering in the thermocline. You don't see no structure on them, right? You don't see no bait fish above them, right? You don't pull it in on a school of fish. Nine times out of ten, if you see this right here on my screen, 39 foot, no structure, open water. What a time! It's cold, bro. I pull up on, on these fish, man, in, in, in a winter time. Dude say, what you fishing on, man? I ain't fishing on nothing. I'm fishing on top of fish. That's what I'm fishing on. I don't understand why I'm catching fish. Loke understand why I'm catching, but a lot of folk don't understand. These fish... <laughs> These fish in open water trying to stay warm, man. They ain't trying to, they ain't doing nothing, nothing special out there. You just got to know what they doing. Sammy will tell you that. He said, good going. What that mean, man? They bite. That's right. That's right, Mitch. Let me take this time now to go say what's up my YouTube folk, man, because I ain't, I ain't said nothing to them tonight. I'm talking, I'm, I'm basically just talking to the Facebook crowd. What's up, y'all, man? Uh. Uh, I hope Loke keeping y'all uh, entertained over here. I know uh, I hadn't been over here rapping with you guys. I'm going to say what's up on the chat, man. So y'all know I am rapping to you guys. What's up? What my question mark at? There it is. You know. That's right, man. That's a big what's up from uh, Django 3000, man. Like I was telling you guys, if you just joined us, man, you just coming in on the live, man. My homeboy, we met this guy, Great Bait and Tackle, man. Uh, we call them New York, man. The high man law in New York. Uh, told me his real name today. I wouldn't even remember because that ain't his name to me. His name New York, but his name is Brooklyn Country Boy in the chat, man. We met him at uh, Great Bait and Tackle, man. He been friendly with us, man, ever since we met him, man. He joined the group, man. He subscribed, man. He joined the Facebook group. He been active with us, man. And believe it or not, man, this guy ain't never been fishing with us. <laughs> But it's his own fault, man. He keep getting mixed up with the time, man. But uh, he's supposed to be going out there with me soon, man. So it can't happen soon enough, boy. I'm so ready to put you on some fish, man. And uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on. What's up, YouTube, man? I'm gonna go back on here and finish rapping, man. Finish up what I was saying, man. But uh, winter time, man. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at on my screen, man. It don't seem like much, man. But uh, I tell you what. I got my homeboy here as a witness. Uh, Big Nick, tell him what amen if I'm if I'm telling the truth. We put in a deep water in the wintertime. I catch fish. They said, man, what are you doing? How, what, how deep you fish? They chained up. Probably won't catch none. They'll sit there and watch me catch fish. Didn't, didn't that happen uh, before uh, Big Nick? He'll tell you. I had a guy on there with a name, uh, Mike McAfee. He, he went with it. He got a live scope on his boat. He didn't understand. He said, man, I see fish, man, but I don't understand why they bite. I said, dude, trust me, man. You own the fish. That's what I'm looking at right there. It don't seem much, man, but uh, the only thing that's missing from this picture is a lot of times if I'm fishing and you see this, somewhere to the either left or the right there, you're going to see a sheer drop off, man. And that's how, that's how I'm catching them, man. I'm catching these jokers in that thermocline. On them drop-offs in the wintertime, bro. 
But this is what I want to show you guys, man, for that nighttime fishing gig, man. If you guys going out there and you see this right here, man, you might as well just leave the door open on your uh on your uh, on your cooler, man, because you're gonna load up. You're gonna you're gonna be like Mitch, Low, uh, Young One, Felsa, Mike, the rest of these guys, man. When y'all saw us catching all them hogs, man. That's what them guys were fishing in right there, man. If you look at the very top, you see a big old yellow blob. Look like a look like the sun coming through a cloud, man. That's so many bait fish that the fish finder can't even register whether or not it's one big entity or a million small entities. That's why I try to tell you, man, it's a big difference on what bait fish look like on your screen at night and what crappy look like. Now, if you guys look just below that big blob, right, you'll see a real thin line under that. That's them hogs right there, man. I ain't even going even, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Them hogs, man. All I can tell you, you got to get down there the best way you possibly can, man. Because if you're going to get a hog down there, is where you're going to get them from. But I'm going to tell you what a lot of, what's going to happen a lot, man. If you guys, if you look at my family, see if I can't go. Right, you see that, that line up, go right above it. You see that look like a tuna fork right above it. That's them dinks hitting that doggone uh, swarm or doggone bait fit, and they breaking it up. You see that hole in it? That's them dink, man. That letting you know right there where they at, man. When you see them breaks in them bait fit like that, right there, man. Dinks. Them big boy down now. They ain't going to bite till you bring it to them. And that's where, that's where your boy Lope be getting all his monsters at, man. I, I know I shouldn't tell y'all that, man, but it ain't hard, man. And then a lot of times when he be like, I don't understand why they ain't catching. That's why yeah, he don't understand because y'all almost ain't looking at y'all fish finder, man, because them fish down, man. We say, Mike, that's a run. <laughs> hey, look here. When y'all see that screen right now, that when it be quiet on the water around them boy, man, because them jokers be catching them slide that them slab, and they don't be wanting everybody to know they done caught by third of them over there. They some scum, boy. When they be when you hear them talking, what's up, Django? Blah blah blah. He, he telling jokes and all this and all that old myth. They ain't catching that. When they get, shh. Hey man, I ain't heard I ain't heard um cousin Mike in a while. I ain't heard him mention in a while. You know why? Them sky down there on that bottom down there. <laughs> catching them slab. Game day. Those drop off in creek or uh, their highway. That's how they move around the lake. I, you know what? I can't preach that enough, man. I cannot preach that enough, Sammy. You know, but you know, a lot of people like to learn stuff the hard way, man. You know, I don't understand why, but you know, hey, to each his own, man. Hey, y'all. I'm gonna take this time in our uh, our live man to represent one again for the. For our dedicated sponsor, Mr. Sammy Wright, Game Day Jigs and Flies, man, that's right. If you guys are trying to get an edge on these crappy man, call my man up, man. He's going to make you custom. Let me say that right. Let me say it slow so you guys can kind of let that emanate. Custom jigs, man, meaning you call him and you tell him what you want and guess what? Expediently, you're gonna get them in the mail, man. Guess how much? Five dollars. You ain't gonna find a price like that nowhere, man. Now, that's your basic stuff. Now, if you start talking about that, that extra stuff, he can do it all, man. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to uh, negotiate with him on that, man. I can't drop a price on that, man. But uh, most of his stuff, man, are so reasonable, man. I, it's like he giving them away. But you're talking about some of the best jigs on the market. I can't even keep them, man. I, he makes a, I got a signature jig with him called a Fireball, man. Uh, if you guys have ever seen it, man, it's a red jig, small body, small head with a chartreuse, a chartreuse tail. I think it's about a 332nd ounce jig. Listen, man, I can't keep them, man. You know, uh, I catch about three, four, five, boop, it's gone. I only got like that one pack, man. Once those three gone, man, I ain't got them. So, uh, 
I'm constantly stacking up, man. So if you guys need some uh, quality jigs and flies, man, hit them up. Game Day Jigs and Flies on Facebook. Matter of fact, here in the comment uh, right now, if you guys want to holler at them. Brooklyn say, you going this weekend? Ah, man. Let me take a sip. The same thing my wife said in Brooklyn. You going fishing this weekend? Yes, ma'am. I'm going fishing, man, but I'm actually teetering. Um, Mo Fish has called me, so he want to go fishing. Well, here it is. We just had that big influx of water. So, I can't guarantee him that he going to limit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know that guy, man. If he don't limit, man, he start acting like the hook, man. I told him, man, you going to mess around and turn to the hook, you ain't going to be able to turn back. Because uh, I ain't got time for that foolishness, man. He get mad when he can't catch no fish. I, when he can't catch no fish. I ain't talking about me. When he can't catch no fish. Because he don't like working for him. He just like catching, man. Sometimes I can put him on there like that, man. But sometimes, man, you got to work for them fish, bro. And see, though, that water right now, I'm almost... Almost, it's safe to say that the water's going to be at least stained, but I hope, hopefully it ain't muddy. And if it ain't muddy, it's just definitely going to be really, really trashy, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I looked at the weather report for Oak County. Uh, Friday forecast is going to be sunny weather, but the wind is going to be very high. Like 11, 12 mile hour winds, man, most of the day. But get this, around 8, 8.30, on all the way on to the to the morning, weather, I mean, the wind is going to be two, three miles an hour, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's actually going to be great weather to fish, man. But I don't know what the conditions of the water is going to be, man. And uh, uh, I, I know gonna, I know Lo going to be the first one to say, man, I do not like fishing no chocolate milk. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it's been chocolate milk for a couple of weeks, man, I've learned that, hey, man, it don't matter, man. But that first, what, two or three days of that? Water change, man, they don't like it, man. It's hard to catch them. Oh, wow. Ed from Nick Doe on here, man. He said uh, he went uh, day four yesterday. No, you did I thought you were scared of COVID-19, man. Chime back in, E. Let everybody know what that water looked like. Look at it. He done got off already, man. Sky. How you gonna come in and say he went yesterday and then don't tell nobody what the water looked like? Maybe he got one of them uh, jitterbug phones take him all day to tick. <laughs> come on, E. Let me know what that water looked like. Oh, he done got off already, man. Good gracious. Oh, well. Well, the plan is, y'all, man, to go tomorrow. My plan is to go tomorrow, man. Uh, I don't I don't like the odds, man, but look, we done bought, man. We done, we done made, me and Lowe done made some stuff happen, man, in worse condition, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Uh, He'll go out there and say, man, I don't like the condition. And, you know, he had me work, man, sometime, man. But then, you know, we put them skills together, man, and make it work. And then he was like, man, I'm glad we went, you know. It's not going to be windy. Water condition may be. Well, like I said, I looked at the uh, the level, man. Uh, it's pretty much, you know, where it's supposed to be. But, you know, it, that's regulated by the dam. So it could very well just be over. Probably got a, a rapid running down through the middle of it. But I don't know. It said, uh, it said, long show clip. All right. We going fishing tomorrow, y'all. Nighttime crappy fishing in Lake Oconee. We got a report from Eddie from Nick Doe. So, uh, I'm going fishing tomorrow, man, but I'm not going to, I probably won't leave out about 8 o'clock, man, because, uh, that wind ain't going to be high till then. So, uh, Mo Fish has already told me he's going to have the bait ready. All I got to do is pick him up. We're going to hit the road. We're going to be on point, man. I got a new spot that I'm going to try, man. Me, Chris, uh, 
crappy hawk. Last time we went fishing, man, I pulled up on a spot. We didn't fish it, man. But the spot I was looking at, the looking for, it sucked. But we went over a spot and I looked at low. I said, low, 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 low. This is another big band, bro. Who we got here? Uh oh. I'm going to see if you guys can see this right here. I'm, I'm going to try to hold this up. Uh, oh, let me see. Add it right down. Eddie from Nate Doe just hit me up, and he showed me the picture. He went to Long Show yesterday, said the water was clear. That looked like a lemon to me. <laughs> we going fishing tomorrow, man. So, uh, I don't know, man. If you guys are interested or what have you, man. We going, but we leaving late, man. I don't know. Can you catch me a limit? Need them fish. Now, you know I don't do that, man. If I give you a fish bit, man, it ought to be hard to eat it, man. Knowing that I gave it to you. Mike Robinson said, Lim what you going to do, Mike? You going to? Oh, Brooklyn said, hit me. I'm ready this time. Mike said, hog pin. Woo! You know what? Put a pin, put a pin in that, cause you know what? I gotta talk to my boy. See, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't hit on something right now, Mike. That might be the spot, man. That might be the spot. Hog pin. Ooh. Sound read. You say you read? Uh. I tell you what. We gonna leave out tomorrow. We gonna leave late. Gonna probably be dog when we leave out, but you know how we we good on we good on that, man. Uh, I just don't want to deal with that wind. You guys get out there early, man. I just, you know, it, it ain't going to be no good for you until that wind die down. So, you might as well not even be in a hurry. But I'm going to get out there tomorrow night, man. Uh, me me and my boy Lope. And, uh, I think Lope, let me stop speaking for Lope. I think Lope going too. But definitely it's going to be me and uh, Mo Fishes together. Just sent you some. I just showed it on the uh, E. <laughs> I showed everybody that limit. You missed it. Matter of fact, let me show it again so you'll see it. Yeah. Yeah, I just showed everybody you got a lemon in there. That's from Eddie from Nick Doe, y'all. He over here catching lemon. But like I say, man, uh, the weather's supposed to be great tomorrow. Uh, sunny tomorrow, just wind going to be very, very high. Come uh, 8.30 on into the morning, the wind's going to die down about 2.00. Maybe three miles an hour. It's going and sometimes gonna be one mile an hour. It's gonna almost be a flat sheet out there, man. So I don't know, man. If you guys ain't fishing tomorrow, man, shame on you. It say uh, Michael Lawrence. Why no daytime fishing? Okay. Let me. Uh, I explained that a couple of times before. Right now, you still got people out there trolling. You got people out there jigging. Uh, this time of year, man, we down here. I don't know where you're from, but we down here in uh, Georgia, man. The weather down here is awesome, man. So uh, during the daytime, you got so many thrill seekers, boaters, and skiers, and all that on the water, man. You just can't have a good time, man. I prefer not to fish during those those that that time of day, man. It just it's just too too much chaos out there, man. At night, I can go fishing, no houses whatsoever. No, if Nate though, he say. Jet ski. That's right. What's up? He said from Greensboro, North Carolina. That was far gone from him. <laughs> nah, he from Greenboat, Alabama. <laughs> What's up, Mike? But yeah, man, that's why we don't fit daytime. This time of year. Um, and all enough, the time when we do fish in the daytime, it's everybody out there fishing man so it's it's even more chaos you know when you go uh during the um the, the spawn man just so many boats on the water man it's just like man i remember we was out there long not long show but uh sugar creek a couple of weeks ago man and we was out there uh um uh, uh long lining out the back man and we were dodging boats man like i felt like i was Han Solo through an asteroid field going through all them boats, man. I know that's kind of weird, but that's a good way to explain it, man. It was just too much action, man. 
I'm just, I just love this night. It's so peaceful, man. All you gotta do is concentrate on your fishing, man. And um, I don't know, a lot of guys just like they like night nighttime fishing. That's right, Mick. Billing balls, where y'all at, man? I ain't heard nothing from y'all, man. I know y'all sky probably crying. They're like, man, he finna go out there and where am I? I don't even know, man. I don't know how these fish gonna act, man. I already had a bad report from uh, uh, Brooklyn, but Eddie next door done show me the light. So he already lived. He already he, when he show you that dog on bop, that mean go go fish. <laughs> he said them boys and keep sweat. That's right. Nah, I ain't turn no key sweat on, man. It's gonna be all scared this time, man. He said, yes, sir, good old key sweat. Yeah, man. They don't, they don't know nothing about no key sweat. They think we just be out there playing, man. Y'all better get on it. But look here, man. I done probably went over my time, man. I wasn't supposed to be on here that long, man. I just want to get on here and rap with you guys about this, uh, reading these fish finder, man, and I'll give you guys a report. Uh, the only thing I didn't give you guys, I was looking at the, uh, optimal times that the fish are biting and, uh, April 30th, they say the optimal time was 6.29 p.m. for evening time fishing. So, we're going to be good tomorrow, man. If you get out on that water by 8 o'clock, man, you're going to be good, bro. So, Kevin, what's up, man? Kevin. That's who I want to get out there fishing with, man. Every time I see Kevin, is in passing, man. The last time I saw Kevin, I couldn't even remember who Kevin was, man. I said, man, that ain't that Kevin, man. That one of my first supporters, man. So, man, I definitely want to get down with Kevin, man. Let me know how it works, how that uh, pontoon boat work out, man. I see you putting that thing together, man. I'm proud of you, man. He said, uh, Mitch say, explain key sweat real quick, Django. What's up, little bro? <laughs> Boy, you late, man. I think you're ready to get off here, man. You just coming on, man. You about four hours behind everybody, though. Yeah. Man, they know about key sweat, man. They don't believe, though, man. I mean, they're going to learn one day. One day they're going to be out there fishing, man. And they're going to throw a jig out there. It ain't going to work. They're going to throw a, a, a mill out there. It ain't going to work. They're going to change their weight. It ain't going to work. Ain't nothing going to work for them. Then they're going to say, Django, help me. I'm going to say, dog, did you play right in the wrong way? They're going to say, what? Did you play key sweat right in the wrong way? I said, turn it on. And watch them drop. Uh, Brooklyn Country Boy, Sugar Creek Alone Show. I tell you what, man. Uh, I got to get with my homeboy, man, and, and uh, we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna, we gonna thump that tuning fork, man, and, and try to figure out exactly which one which way we gonna go with the thing before I give you a definitive answer. But we definitely going fishing tomorrow. Night around by eight o'clock. Uh, Sugar Creek Long Show, one of those. But uh, cousin Mike just brought something very, very serious up. Up, he said hog pen. I'm talking about that sound good. So um, I'll let you know tomorrow, man. By by the time I get out work, we're gonna have plenty of time, man. No, man, ain't gonna. I, I, a long show is out the question. I'm going to leave Long Show to everybody, man, because y'all be, man, just too many of y'all be at Long Show, man. Secret's out. <laughs> hey, you can't, you can't fit. You, you're too many folks be out there, man. Jojo Batten. Y'all shoot minnows or jigs or both. <clears throat> Nighttime fishing, man. You're going to do, you're going to do far better with minnows. But, uh, you're definitely catching with jigs as well. But I, I'm just, uh, to be honest with you, you really don't even have to work with those jigs at night, man. Um, throw you a um, couple of uh, one thirty second ounce jig heads on there with a couple of nice uh, moving um, jigs, man. And you just leave that pole out there and let the trolling motor do the work for you, man. You'll catch a limit just like that, man. But, uh, shh, that's a secret. Uh, Mike said that sound good. Well, look here, man. Uh, I think I done said enough, man. It's time to get off this live, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, supporting us, coming out, joining us again this Thursday night, man. And uh, definitely, man. Uh, if you guys aren't members uh, or not subscribed to the YouTube channel, get over there. DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors, man, on YouTube. 
hit that subscribe button, man. Uh, share this content, man. If you know somebody, man, send them over here to the Facebook group. And definitely, man, definitely keep sharing. Throw them likes up there. Matter of fact, y'all take the time out tonight, man. I gave y'all some, 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 some pointer, man. Give me some likes, some love, man. Let me know you guys support us, man. I'm going to wait, man, before I get off this thing. See if you guys are going to support me, man. Where it is? YouTube, I'm talking to YouTube, man. Give me some thumbs up, man. Let me know y'all. Let me know y'all digging it, man. That's right. That's right. Oh man, don't do me like that, Web. CK1 update. CK1 updated this right here. CK1 always ready to go. I just don't have it put together, man. Uh, I got to get the raw holders put back on there. I got to get the seat put back on there, man. I bought it out, man, and um, I lent it out, I should say. And uh, uh, I, I got to do some minor minor work to them. But it ain't nothing that I actually got to do. All I got to do is stick a battery on it and crank it up. That's I mean, I'm ready to get on the water in that respect, but I'm not ready to fish on it. I, um, two of my rod holders are off, and then uh, one of my seats are off. So I got to get all that right. Then I'll get out there. But uh, we got plenty of time for that, Miss Will. I know I had promised you the next time we go out, we're going to take CK1. But uh, we're going to push that date back one more again, man. i definitely let you know uh, when we're going to do it. Jacor, you know it's nothing to me and Ty catching fish. I know that right, homeboy. I'm just dropping that sign to the, to the other skies out here. I hear you, Mike. Thank you, man. Thanks for the support. Thanks, Sammy. With that being said, man. I'm Yavo, a.k.a. Django3000. If you guys over there on YouTube, you see that sky in the charge over there, Loke the Assassin, man. Uh, we pre appreciate you guys come, coming back and joining us again, man. We'll catch you next Thursday, man, with another local fish report, man. Until then, man, y'all keep on fishing, man. We out of here, man. Peace.